Morning, Tuesday, another speed session. I've got uh, two times 4K. Beautiful morning, it's starting to get a little bit cold now, but it's all good. Uh, just aiming to tick things over nice and smooth. Gonna run a quick warm up and uh, jump into it. <laughs> Nothing beats getting up early and ripping into a hard run and just feeling the sweat roll off your face. I uh, felt super good on those ones. Uh, ticked them all over pretty smooth. Pretty tired by the last one, but that's normal. <sighs> About 15 k's all up for the workout and warm up and cool down. Heading home. <music> 6 p.m. Just got home and had a shower. Heading to my sister's place for tacos. Tacos were good, really good, and today was a great day. I'm going to bed. What's up? It is Wednesday, and this weekend I'm going to the Down Under 135 to pace for my friend Pat. That's 135 miles, not kilometers. I think that's like 207 kilometers. Pat's crazy. He's also a beast. I paced for him at Alpine Challenge 100 miler uh, late last year. It was an awesome experience, so when he asked me to do it again, I was like, for sure, I'm down. I'll be meeting Pat at 2 a.m. and running with him for about eight hours, so it should be epic. Uh, I'm going to show you some of the gear I'm taking. Pacers have to carry the mandatory gear for this, so this is what I got. The thermals, uh, pants and shirt. I've got waterproof pants. These aren't mandatory. I've actually never used these, but I've got them just in case. Waterproof jacket. And then just got a warm jacket. This is a Patagonia one. I don't know what it's called, but it's basically like a sleeping bag. It's so warm. Always buy Patagonia stuff where I can because they're very environmentally conscious. Simple hydration bottle. This is an awesome piece of kit. It's got a little uh, hook on there. You can just stick it in the back of your shorts. I mean, I wouldn't, like, since I've started using this, I wouldn't go without it. It's so handy. Space blanket and a whistle. Little first aid kit. Snake bandage. They're all mandatory. Uh, I've got my tracking poles. Not sure if I'm going to use them, but I've got them. Head torch, emergency head torch, compass, and body glide, buff, matches, high vis vest, which is mandatory. My shoes, these are ultra lone peaks, they're like the only shoes that I run in. Hat, gloves, running shirt, uh, warm running shirt. Socks, these are stance socks, uh, they're my favorite socks. Shorts, Patagonia. And then my hydration vest. I've just got this, I haven't used it yet. I said recently how I hate hydration vests. That's mainly because they all, like all the ones I've tried, and I've tried a lot of them, I've just got some like critical design flaws. I've been really excited for this one. I got high hopes for it. It's basically like the new version of the one I've used for a long time. The key differences are the strap system. It's just got these simple uh, little elastic things with the cinch on there. The old one had these buckles that are really tedious. They always come undone. These big pockets up the front, which are just great because they're really accessible. So you can, uh, you know, have all your food and stuff in there. The new flasks, they've got this form piece at the bottom, which makes it a lot easier for stuffing it in the pocket. And the vest also has more elastic straps at the top to go around the uh, lid of the flask so it doesn't fall down in the pocket. And the flask also has a much wider lid, which is great because I use uh, Tailwind, which is like a powder you pour in water. So it's a lot easier to pour in and just a lot easier to pour anything in general, like when you're in the middle of a race and you're in a hurry. So yeah, I'm excited for that vest. I'm looking forward to trying it out this weekend. Other than that, I've just got my AeroPress, jet boil, uh, and some gas for it because there's gonna be nowhere to get a coffee at 2 a.m. and I'm gonna need that coffee. And that's pretty much it. I need to suss some maps, but other than that, I think I'm pretty much organized. Super excited for the weekend. Can't wait, it's gonna be awesome. 
I'm um, having an extra rest day today just so I can keep up with Pat. So I'll catch you tomorrow. Changed my mind, I'm heading out for a run. Going against Coach uh, Scotty's orders here. Sorry, bro. But have a look at this day, man. Just, you gotta run on a day like this. Half an hour, about 6Ks. Because I did my speed session yesterday, if I was to have a rest day today, I always find if I do that, my legs sort of don't feel that great. So just tick them over quickly. But how is the weather? Frothing on it. Easy 50 minutes this morning. It is another beautiful day. Okay's done, feeling awesome, and uh, that's it for running until approximately 2 a.m. Saturday morning. Well, that coffee was now many hours ago. Sun's going down on another day. It's been a busy day at work and then trying to get organized to leave tomorrow. So I'm gonna call it here and the next time you see me, I'll be going to Down Under 135. Peace.